Kia ora, heavy rain is set to return to many parts of New Zealand as we head into Wednesday and Thursday. There's already some severe weather watches and warnings in place for that rainfall. We also like to find the winds picking up, even some snowfall in the mix. And we like to find a few more watches and winds as the week wears on. The rainfall, though, feeding in from the west, arriving on those western parts of the South Island by the end of the day today for Tuesday. And as we head in towards Wednesday, that wet weather spreads northwards up through western in towards Buller, Grey, the Tasman area. Also some snowfall across those inland parts of Otago up towards the Queenstown Lakes area. And by the end of the day, this back edge of the rain spreads across the North Island as well. In amongst it, some heavy thundery falls as well, places like Northland and perhaps even down to Auckland and the Coromandel. But I think it is worth keeping a close eye on the forecast over the next few days. On in to Thursday, this wet weather continues to move across the north. And you can see the darker blues showing that heavier rainfall feeding towards the Coromandel, the Bay of Plenty, but also this wraparound feature pushing that rainfall on towards the eastern coast of the South Island. So places like Dunedin and Otago could be some heavy rain for you as well as we go through in towards at the end of Wednesday and into Thursday too. So it is looking like a pretty wet story. The accumulated rainfall charts really show that story quite nicely with that rain spreading on towards the South Island through the daytime on Wednesday. And then you can see those darker blues, those teals and those reds really highlighting where we find the heaviest rainfall. Up on the North Island, that rain arrives really as we head through Wednesday. And with the wind being mainly from that north or northwest, it's those areas exposed to the north which catch the brunt of it. So places like Northland, the Coromandel, the Bay of Plenty, particularly these eastern areas, the warning for you, run, sorry, the watch for you runs right the way through until about 3 a.m. on a Friday morning. Also, Taranaki Monga, heavy rain for you. There's a severe weather warning for you for that heavy rainfall. And as we head down towards the South Island, you can see a fairly blue looking story with the heaviest rainfall up about the ranges of Westland, but also those ranges west and northwest of uh, say Motueka, and also places like the Richmond and Bryant ranges on that border between Tasman and Marlborough, even down in towards the Rye Valley as well. More wet weather for you. You'll also notice by the time you head through to Thursday 8 p.m., that rain has pushed in towards places like Dunedin too. So I think we are gonna find even down in those uh, eastern areas, a wet end today for you on Wednesday and a wet looking at Thursday as well. That's on top of already very wet conditions down across the southern parts of New Zealand. So it comes as no surprise that we have got some severe weather watches and warnings already in place. Now the heaviest rainfall, places like Westland, up in towards those ranges of the Tasman district and even in towards Tanaki Monga as well. But you can see we've got watches in many other areas and even that snow watch down in the far south as well. For those areas uh, above about 700 metres catching that snow, that's enough to impact those, some of those higher roads as well, Haas Pass, Lewis Pass, and even in towards the likes of, uh, say, the Crown Range Road. So we'll sell off with that heavy rain warning down south. As I was saying, that rain really arrives as we head through the night time tonight. So by about 11 p.m. we've got that heavy rainfall warning in force. West and continues for a good 24 hours right the way through to about 11 p.m. on Wednesday. Rainfall totals 160 to 190 millimeters of rainfall up about the higher parts of the ranges. Lesser amounts down towards the coast but don't forget of course that rain will feed in towards your rivers as well. Also see those watches up towards the north for places like the Buller and the Grey District with that rain arriving during the daytime on Wednesday. We've also got heavy rain warnings for the ranges northwest of Motueka as we head through the daytime on Wednesday. Those Richmond and Bryant ranges and the Rye Valley again from about the afternoon on Wednesday and for the top of Taranaki and Monga as well. Rainfall totals likely to be perhaps about 130 to 160 millimetres for those ranges in the northwest of the Tasman area and elsewhere around about 100, mill 100 millimetres or so. So it is well worth keeping a close eye on the forecast with those northerly winds pushing that rain in towards the ranges there. But you can see we've got those watches as well for Northland, the Coromandel, the Bay of Plenty, and up in towards those far northern parts of the Tairafti area, north of Ruatoria, 
as we go through in towards, let's say, Wednesday, Thursday, and even for those eastern parts of the Bear Plenty, the very early hours of Friday morning as well. That watch for snowfall during the daytime on Wednesday, 9 a.m. to about 9 p.m. Like I said, the heaviest snowfall above 700 meters, but that is still low enough to impact some of those roads through there as well. And keep a close eye on those winds as well, strengthening northerlies across the north side. You might find some watches through places like Wanganui and southern Taranaki, and also a squeeze of the winds down on towards that uh, far western side of the south line through places like Fjordland and southern western by the end of the day on Wednesday. But for many of us, what we'll find will be the wet weather. And don't forget, with these kind of things, we will find streams and rivers rising fairly rapidly, could find some surface flooding and some slips, and do take extra care on the roads as well. As always, you can find your latest forecast and updates on these severe weather watches and warnings over at metservice.com.